Uh, a hit and run crash involving a stolen car leaves a passenger dead. This is kind of in the Feltonville section of the city. Uh, Steve's out by the road now. Mike, this Kia SUV was stolen just two days ago, just two blocks from here. And what happened was there was a guy driving a Honda at 11.45. He stopped for the light right where these cars are now making the light, right? And he sees in his rearview mirror these headlights that are coming at him way faster than the 40-mile-an-hour speed limit, like double that. And he's like, uh-oh, this doesn't seem right. And he braces for impact. That SUV driver in the stolen car must have saw that Honda stopped at the last second, swerves, clips the back of the Honda, and goes flying in the air, flipping over three times. Here's the video of how it looked after it finally stopped rolling. And he sees the passenger in that front seat fly out of there. He is pronounced dead just 14 minutes after the 11.45 crash. The driver witnesses and the Honda driver see stumbles out of the car and just starts stumbling away and is last seen going down the street on Rising Sun. According to accident investigators, that speed was a factor because there's very, very heavy damage to the Kia. Accident investigators believe the Kia flipped over several times, and according to witnesses, that is the case, that the vehicle flipped over several times, and there are car parts, tires came off uh, all over the intersection. The light was red, vehicle was speeding, lost control, and what happened was he ended up hitting the vehicle. It flipped over three times. The second impact, the guy um, flew right out the wind windshield and landed into the pavement. And I tried to get over there to make sure he was all right, but he, he after a minute, he stopped breathing. So there was nothing I could do for him. You know, one of the more horrific crashes we've seen on the boulevard, and that's not an understatement. You couldn't even make out that this was an SUV because the back of it was gone. Everybody thought it was like a sedan at first. And then you see the back end basically here on the sidewalk with wheels, the bumper, and everything else. And now there's a concerned citizen out here cleaning up down the sidewalk with a broom and a, and a dustpan because he hears the crunching sound of all the rush hour traffic going through this. So just awful. But still, as daylight hits, no sign of that driver just yet, no identity on the dead victim. But the police found two cell phones in this debris. And you can bet that the family and friends of that dead young man, maybe even a teenager, are calling, looking for him, and then they're going to get the police who are going to tell them the bad news that he is no longer with us. And that may help, that phone may help them find the driver ultimately if he's not found by kids like this kid walking to school because police have been searching for hours now in the blocks immediately around here, wondering if the guy just died and stumbled to his death somewhere that they couldn't see in the dark.